Hi there, welcome to the Plugin Duo once more. So this time, a very nice surprise late at night or early in the morning, you take your pick. We got a new software update. On this one, we got 2024 20.1. It's got some pretty good stuff actually. Okay, it's not letting me. There we go. Let's just go through it. It's got autopilot suspension. So pretty much it says that um, if, if autopilot finds that you are misusing it that it's gonna suspend you for the rest of the drive and then if you uh, get um, five autopilot strikes out from what I understand it's for seven days it will be disengaged beach buggy racing supercharger races so I guess that's just a new feature uh, for the game also hot weather improvements this release includes various improvements that optimize your vehicle's performance in hot weather AC cools down the cabin faster and your battery good stuff security improvements of course always good but this is what I'm excited for right here headlights adapt for curves so as you may know Tesla's have been coming for a while now with adaptive headlights and they have actually um, active matrix headlights and it says headlights will now adapt for curves on the road ahead for greater visibility in low lighting to enable this feature in your vehicle go to lights and adaptive headlights let's install this and uh right now it's downloading i cannot wait so we'll see you guys okay. in a bit now that we have the software installed we're just gonna skip all this and let's go to the one that i care the most which is adaptive headlights so again let's go to lights and adaptive headlights we are in the lights section and here we go adaptive headlights auto high beam and adjust headlights for curves so as of right now we really can't notice really the difference the only thing we notice is this pesky automatic high beams which i don't like at all as soon as i got the car i actually turned off the auto high beams but the only way for that to work is for the auto high beams to turn back on so I guess the full matrix uh, adaptive headlights is still not enabled because instead of turning the high beams um, with uh, active matrix it's supposed to create a shadow around the area where the car is so it won't so the car won't get uh, dazzled by the lights but instead keeps on cycling back and forth from high beams to low beams so we've been making turns but i really don't notice i mean it's i think i noticed something where it was very subtle where the beams turn in from three segments from left right and in the middle and after i would turn it would all join together but it doesn't really look like it's turning so right now we're gonna take uh, a turn here at night and let's see if it does anything It's a little darker a little further down. Try turning on one of the streets and let's see. Okay. So what we're going to try doing is we're going to go on the freeway 
and see if it's uh, dependent on um, maybe a certain speed. Mm -hmm. But if not, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought this was going to be like the headlights where they actually turn when you turn the steering wheel. But so far, all I see is this pesky automatic high beams. back and forth mm -hmm. from high beam to low beam okay so we came back from our drive I do not notice anything I thought I did but honestly I don't notice anything if there is it's extremely minimal only thing I notice is just the auto high beams just cycle back and forth from high to low high to low and it's uh it's quite annoying actually because especially on a street that is uh pretty dark just the signs they just get too bright and instead of allowing you to see f further down it's like the signs are are blinding what do you think yeah absolutely the high beams were kind of annoying yeah like i said they were going back and forth mm -hmm. and back and forth and uh on top of that it wasn't all that great uh <laughs> detecting cars so there was a couple of cars that were hidden on the other side of the uh street mm -hmm. and being blocked by bushes but uh they were being blinded so um I appreciate that we get um, software updates and get new features, but honestly, this one, I really don't notice much, but I guess I cannot complain. I mean, um, at least they're trying to um, make the car better, but this one, yeah, I, I maybe needs to be fine-tuned just a little better, but on this one, yeah, I really don't notice it. So, what about you guys? Have you guys gotten the software update? Did you guys notice it? And if so, leave a comment down below. I would love to know. Anyway, this is going to do it for this video. I'm Julio, and my wife Christine is next to me. So this was the new update 2024-20.1. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.